Hi guys, so today I thought we'd look at making some textures and we're going to be doing that with rubbings um, around the house and with things that we've made and then hopefully we can cut those up when we've got a good selection and we can make some nice abstract collages. But first things first, okay. So in the studio today I've got lots of printing paper which I was just going to recycle because it's no use to me now. So that's ideal. It's quite thin and should work quite well. I've also got some tissue paper. I'm not sure if that's too thin, but we could give it a go. And some more thin paper here. I think if you use too thick a card, it's not going to work. So try the printing paper or something quite thin. Okay, so what I've got, I've got a selection of things here. These are bits of foam that you buy in arts and craft shops and stationers and I've stuck them, cut them up and stuck them on a bit of cardboard. Now you might not have this. If you don't have it, you could these bits could just be card. So you could cut out patterns, squares, shapes, circles here, art shapes. There look. And then you could do that, something like that. And let's see how that works, shall we? Okay, so I've got my bit of paper here. I'm just going to leave this paper here because otherwise this is a glass table and you're going to see right through and that's going to get confusing. So let's just leave that there. Okay, let's start with this. This is a lovely bit of texture right there. Now you could have done tiny little marks here, tiny little squares or... They don't even have to be the same. You could do them all differently. It's to totally up to you. Just have fun with it. There are no rules. Okay, now the best things I've found are dark pencils or charcoal. Now these are all sketching pencils, but they're 6B, 4B, tinted charcoal, colour pencils. You could use any colouring pencils. Um, here, look. Okay. Now let's get that so you can see it and I'm going to go over that with the side of the pencil. So I'm not going to go like this, I'm just going to do it to the side and just rub back and forth like this until we start getting... You have to press quite hard, that's the thing, and hold it tight down between your finger and thumb because otherwise you might lose your paper. Just keep going over and over until you're happy you've got that coming through. See, that works quite well. What you could do is then get another colour, if you like, and go over. Or you could have just used that colour. So if I move it along a bit, and you just wanted that colour coming through, this one. So we'll move that one out of the way. Hold it tight. a bit of um, tile, rubber tile. I mean actually you could just go around your house, see what you've got and try to use different colours because if we're going to cut it all up and make collage from it, we don't want it all to be the same. We want lots of different things, lots of different shapes, lots of different colours, lots of different textures and different marks because that variety will give us something nice to work with. It's quite cool, isn't it? You 
could even use your stone. Remember the rock painting video I did recently? You could use the other side or you could use a different stone. Maybe one that you didn't get around to painting. Um, I would suggest something like a pencil. If you use a crayon, a wax crayon, that's going to be quite tricky because it's quite rough and the texture of the stone is quite rough. You're not really getting a pattern there, but you're getting some nice marks. And what I should have said is that we also use, I'm using these oil pastels. Now you don't, you might not have these um, in your house, but you would have wax cranes maybe, so you could use those. And I found this nice bit of tape. This is a patterned tape, which you can see I've used it for other things before. Um, or a stencil, I can't remember what it is, it's sticky, anyway, quite handy. But I'm just going to keep it on its original wrapping, put it here, get my paper, lay it over the top. Now we could start off with a bit of charcoal, see what happens there. The best thing about this is that you just experiment, so if something doesn't work and you're not happy with it, Fine, just go and find something else. Just keep having a bit of fun. So I'll try a bit of a different pencil now with a harder edge to it. And then eventually you'll find you will come up with something that will work for you. Now that's coming up much better for me. Finding that I have to press quite hard get that pattern coming through. Can you see? Let's try it with a pink. I can go over the top. Pink over that green makes a lovely purple. Mmm. Look at that. So don't give up. Just try different things and that's all part of the exploration. Part of the fun. enjoyed all that and you found some really interesting things to have a go with. I've now put all those things inside with me and I've started cutting them up into interesting shapes and what I've done is I've got some paper and made lots of squares and I've torn the edges of mine. You don't have to do that but I quite like that. 
and I've put some paint on. Now these are just little tester pops that we had lying around the house, but you could use any paints you like, as long as they're water-based and they're not toxic. And then you can pick any colour. So I've got some oranges, nice green. Look at that, and look at this, lovely blue. And then I've got some kind of muted colours, some greys. And I'm hoping that I can then lay out some of these shapes I've cut out onto these pieces here. So what I do like is this one. Now this was, um, I'm trying to remember, I think that was on a mat or a cheese grater. Can't remember now. Um, but got that lovely texture and I've cut out and made a rainbow because I did it in lots of different colours. So I know some of you would have put rainbows in your window, which is fab. And I thought this lovely blue would really set it off because they're quite pastely, those colours. So I'm just going to lay them out and hopefully you'll do the same and just have a play around with your different shapes. So I may now, I quite like these kind of vessely shapes, um, like cups and vases and things, but you can do what you like. It's what you're drawn to really. Um, you might just want to cut out circles. So I could use this, cut out circles with that. Um, here's another one. I could do it with a rainbow. So I could just you could make a rainbow shape here, cut it out. Um, the shoe idea was fantastic. I really enjoyed that one. Um, I wonder if some of you have done that with the backs of your trainers that were quite clean, I hope, not too dirty underneath. Um, so that would look quite cool. Um, I know at school, some of the children had drawn faces and then cut out these and made ties um, and placed them over the top. And that looked quite cool as well. So maybe we'll have a go at that. Let's see how we get on. show you because I think that you can see I've tried to mix it up a bit there's another bird there so we're using different marks different colors and different shapes so have a go I think I really like that rainbow one this one's come out quite well there's a car. So you can do what you want. 
I really like this fish one too. It's quite simple. But use a pencil as well, or you can use crayons and add some more marks on top. And really, just have as much fun doing it and putting it all together as you did with the rubbings. Mm -hmm.